Today we will cover two-step mole conversion. Recall on the mole map for single-step conversions we were converting to or from moles. The way to recognize two-step problems is that moles will not be mentioned in the conversion problem. Instead, you'll either be given mass, volume, or a number of representative particles. And you'll also be asked to solve for either mass, volume, or representative particles. For example, in a two-step mole conversion problem, you could start with grams of a substance and be asked to determine the number of molecules in that substance. So step one, convert to moles. And step two, convert to molecules. Or you could be given the volume of a substance and be asked to determine its mass in grams. So step one then would be convert from volume or liters to moles. And step two, convert moles to mass in grams. Converting to moles will always be the middle step in a two-step mole conversion. Let's do some guided practice. How many molecules are in 17.80 liters of propane gas, C3H8, at STP, standard temperature and pressure. So our given value here is 17.80 liters. That's what we're starting with. And we're converting to molecules. So let's set up our dimensional analysis table and take a look at the mole map to see our path. Our given value is 17.8 liters, and our first step will be to convert liters to moles. Since the question's asking us to determine the number of molecules present in that many liters, our second step will be to convert moles to molecules. Step one, step two. Let's insert our units to convert to moles. Remember the conversion factor. One mole equals 22.4 liters of any gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure. Our liters cancel, and now we're going to convert from moles to molecules. And remember, it's one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of propane. Let's get our calculators out and solve. Remember, moles cancel. Remember to multiply the top, so 17. 0.80 times 1 is the same thing, so multiply that by 6.02 exponent 23. And then divide by the bottom, which is just 22.4. You remember to use significant digits in your answer. So if you look at your given value, 17.80, that's four significant digits. So we're going to round our answer to 4. 0.784 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules of propane, C3H8. Now let's take a look at number two. One kilogram of the Earth's crust contains approximately 9.00 times 10 to the negative 15 grams of radium. How many atoms are in that many grams of radium? In this problem, we're given grams, and for our first step, we're going to convert grams to moles. Since we're asked for atoms, we'll be going from moles to representative particles or the number of atoms as our second step. Let's set up our dimensional analysis. Remember, we want to cancel out grams of radium, so that's going to go down at the bottom. And we're converting to moles as our first step. It's always one mole. And to find the number of grams of radium, we'll need to look at the periodic table. Radium's mass is listed as 226.025. We're going to round all masses used to the hundredths place, so that'll be 226.03 grams per mole. Let's plug that into our dimensional analysis. Notice how grams cancel. And now we get to convert to atoms. Moles of radium at the bottom, one mole equals 6.02 times 
times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of radium. Moles cancel. And now let's get our calculators out to solve. Multiply the top, 9.00, exponent, negative 15, times 6.02, exponent 23, equals, divided by 226.03. So in 9.00 times 10 to the negative 15 grams of radium, that's three significant digits, by the way, there are 23,970,269.433 atoms of radium. It's a really large number, so we get to put this number in scientific notation and use significant digits. We're going to round our answer to 2.0. Four zero times 10 to the power of 7 atoms of radium. For our next example, let's look at number 3. Dr. Ian Crawford of Birkbeck College in the University of London was reported to have said that based on the lunar rocks brought back to Earth by Apollo astronauts, there are about 22 grams of helium in every cubic meter of lunar soil. At standard temperature and pressure, STP, how many liters are present in 22 grams of helium? In this problem, we're given grams of a gas and we're asked to determine the number of liters present. So we're going to convert from grams to moles as our first step and then moles to liters as our second step. Let's set up our dimensional analysis. So grams of helium will go at the bottom of our setup and moles of helium at the top. Let's take a look at the periodic table to determine how many grams there are in one mole of helium. The molar mass of helium is 4.003 grams per mole. We're going to round that to 4.00 grams per mole. Now that we've canceled out grams of helium, we're going to convert from moles of helium to liters of helium. Moles of helium will go at the bottom and liters of helium at the top. One mole of helium at STP equals 22.4 liters. Let's get our calculators out and solve. Multiply the top, 22 times 22.4 equals 492.8. We're gonna divide that number by the bottom, 4.00. Remember to record your answer in significant digits. We're given 22 grams of helium, so that's two significant digits that we'll need in our answer. Our calculator answer will then be rounded to 120. Our units, notice the moles of helium cancel. So we end up with liters of helium. If you wanted to put this in scientific notation, you could also write 1.2 times 10 to the power of two liters of helium. Number four says a solution using 2.8 grams of sodium bicarbonate, NaHCO3, commonly known as baking soda, was made to clean up an acid spill in the lab. How many formula units of NaHCO3 are present in 2.8 grams? In this problem, we're given a mass of 2.8 grams. We'll be converting that to moles for our first step of this problem. And then we'll be converting from moles to formula units as the second step in this problem. Let's set up our dimensional analysis. We need to cancel grams and convert to moles, so we'll put grams at the bottom. Let's use the periodic table to determine how many grams are in one mole. In one formula unit of sodium bicarbonate, we have one sodium atom, one hydrogen atom, one carbon, and three oxygen atoms. Now we're going to multiply the quantities by their molar mass. The molar mass of sodium is 22.990. We're going to record that as 22.99 because we round all masses to the hundreds place. 
1.008 for hydrogen, we rounded to 1.01. Carbons, 12.011, will be rounded to 12.01. And oxygens, 15.999, will be rounded to 16.00. Let's find the products. Now let's add the products. 22.99 plus 1.01 plus 12.01 plus 48 equals 84.01. We're going to take this value and plug it into our dimensional analysis setup. Now we can cancel out the grams and go on to our next step of converting moles to formula units. In one mole of sodium bicarbonate, we have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 formula units of sodium bicarbonate. Moles cancel. And now let's use our calculator to solve. 2.8 times 6.02 exponent 23 equals divided by 84.01 equals. We have two significant digits in this value, so we'll also record our final answer using two significant digits. 2.0 times 10 to the power of 22 formula units of sodium bicarbonate. Number five says, if plants add 2.6637 times 10 to the power of 37 molecules, of oxygen gas to the Earth's atmosphere annually, how many grams of oxygen is this? Let's write our given value. Before you write the substance, consider that you're given oxygen gas. Remember, oxygen is a diatomic molecule. There are seven diatomic molecules on the periodic table, and when they're written out, you're supposed to write a 2 as a subscript to represent its formula. So molecules of oxygen gas will be shown as O2. Let's set up our dimensional analysis. In this problem, we're given molecules. So our first step will be to convert molecules to moles. And then our second step will be to convert moles to grams, since we're asked for the mass of the gas. Molecules of oxygen will be at the bottom of our setup since we're trying to cancel that out. One mole of oxygen equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Molecules of oxygen cancel. Now let's convert from moles of oxygen gas to grams of oxygen gas. Let's check the periodic table to determine how many grams of oxygen is in one mole of oxygen. The molar mass of oxygen can be recorded as 16.00 grams per mole when we round to the hundreds place. Since we have two atoms in one molecule of oxygen gas, we're going to multiply that number by two, and the molar mass then of oxygen gas would be 32.00 grams per mole. That's the value that we're going to plug into our dimensional analysis setup. Moles of oxygen cancel. Let's get our calculators out and solve. Multiply the top, 2.6337 exponent 37 times 32 equals divided by 6.02 exponent 23. Remember to record your calculator answer in significant digits. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 significant digits in our given value. So we'll also make sure we have that many digits in our final answer. 1.4000 zero, 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 times 10 to the power of 15 grams of oxygen. And these are five examples of two-step mole conversions.